All right, we got some beautiful little trees going on. Give you a more straight on look at that. And we're just gonna keep going with these beautiful colors. Bunch of yellow on the brush there. Oh, maybe. Maybe right in there. There's some, there's some bushy little things going on. Come down this way. I right, just touch. Wow. You gotta be so careful. That's powerful. That's powerful. And maybe. Comes down, Having fun here. Just practicing tapping this on there. That bit of sap green in there. Bit of cad yellow. I'm just mixing them all so it gets fun. Just like, hmm. And just kind of play. Trying not to destroy all of our dark areas. Want to leave, want to leave dark areas in there. I get the top of the canvas there. Maybe something lives along right there. Mm. Beautiful. And I just barely we go up, we go down. See that? How it kind of goes up, out, and then down. You shape these things. Like this one goes down here, goes down a little hill. Oh, just like that. It looks weird at first, but you just just keep adding to it. Ooh, touch some red there. Mm. I like this little light area in there. I think I'm just gonna close it in with some branches. It's working so good, it's just like, ooh. Let me turn this so I can get a different angle. Huh? It's definitely worth practice. See, that was a good little bit there. Little sticks. I guess. Wow. Some branches in there. Wow, yeah, more than I thought. That's powerful. That's powerful, all right. Picking out some jungle branches. And trying to make them as skinny as possible right in here so it looks like they're way, way back in the distance. Looks like a whole, all kinds of stuff going on back in there. 
Yeah. Whole jungle worth of sticks and stems and twigs, all different branches and things. And I'm just going to keep going over here. There's a little stick, and there's one. That's good. Those guys back in here. Just kind of think of the stories, like that guy's holding up these lambs, and there's a thicker one in there. ever so lightly in there because that's where our, that's where our light's shining through so maybe yeah just like that some little branches happening try this light Bam, gives it a different look there. Different shininess. And we're gonna have a bush area. We'll have two trees here later. But for the moment, we need a bush area. It does something like that. Grab some more color and just tap that in there with the corner. A little bit more, another layer. I like that. That gets working nice. Woo! That may have been way too much. We'll find out. We'll find out. Just going to tap this right here. Just get a bit more of the red in there. More color. Nice little bush. A little more red, a little more yellow, pushing it up to the tip. And now we're just going to touch. Wow. There's a red guy. Oh yeah, there's one. 
There's one. He lives right over here. Hmm. That's just beautiful. Good old tree is going to take the one inch brush and I'm going to load the corner full of some dark color and we're just going to start tapping our way. Down through the background. He's going to come all the way down there. So he's going to live there. Just kind of tapping his home in. Just kind of tapping his home in and get more color. And decide where his limbs live. those real dark spots in there. Yeah. Pushes everything way back into the background. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is why I wanted to do this scene because this is just beautiful. Yes, sir. Just get some limbs or bushes, whatever's going on in there, right? Beautiful. Tap here, tap there, mm, tap there, one there maybe. And just touching. We're making ourselves a nice, nice little trunk in our tree. And then we're going to grab just a touch of the white. See that? We're going to blend that a little bit and then just touch the lights coming from the left side. So we're going to touch them all. Oh, yeah. And not uh, all the way, just here and there. Just here and there. And then I think. I'm just touching the white and scrubbing it through the dry blue on my palette. Yeah, there we go. We got some, we got some blue. I'm gonna grab that and put it on the back side. Just a touch. There we go. Show some reflected light. Let me give you. Straight on, look at that. There's just a touch of blue on the back side of our trunk. And I would like to come back with just some of that pure brown again. Just touch it all together with the dark brown. There we go. 
There we go. I see how mystical, beautiful little forest scenery we got going on here. But let's just take, let's just take, um, I think we need some more of our, more of our yellows and our golds, this brush here. This time we're gonna get whew, a lot of red. Pull that, see a lot of yellow. And push, push, pushed it in there. Maybe even get some of the white this time. Tap that into some yellow. Push. Mm, there we go. There we go. That'll make it stand out. There we go. Just that bit of white. Kinda. Don't, don't overdo. Just be careful. Because you want to keep your dark, dark areas of your tree there. But see, we want to begin to shape. Now this side is darker, but it goes the other direction. See that? And maybe even there's some greens. We'll come back with greens and do the back side. My brush got kind of dark there. I'm going to wipe that off. Grab some more white, go back through the yellows, the reds, some of that red in that white. There we go. Just touch, touch there. Constantly reloading, constantly reloading. And we'll just touch there. Some more color. More white. Now I want it to come across the tree. Down the other way. All right. And this tree gets darker and darker down here towards the bottom, right? Just like that, soft, soft and quiet. Mm, beautiful. I wanna fix that limb right there with just a touch of the white, the red, and some more white. Mm. Don't, don't get carried away though, you'll, you'll kill. Mmm, that's just stunning. Stunning. Mmm, all right, all right. Now, I'm gonna flip over the brush to this back corner here. See, this corner's got all the light. This back corner doesn't really have much going on. And just a slight tap of the phthalo green. No, no, sap green, sap green. And that sap green will take over our entire planet. So we gotta be so careful with it. I'm even gonna go continuing our highlights and we're gonna use that Green corner there. Just gonna do some green touches here and there. And see the green's not wet, so it picked up the dark color. Wipe that dark color off on a paper towel. We're gonna touch some of our wet yellow here. And get some of that oil. And come back 
to that palette back here behind. Get some of that green again. I just want to add some. Maybe not even too bright, just some greens here and there. Make it feel, feel right. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think we'll take a pause right there. <laughs> 